All right, I think I'm live. I'm gonna double check on a couple of places. If I am live, I have been having a little bit of trouble with OBS, knowing where to start. Okay, there I'm live there, but I'm sure. I'm gonna put this volume down. All right, there's that. And let's send out a tweet or two. Here goes a tweet. And maybe a post here as well. Right. And then I'll just establish here. Yes, I'm live. And I'll put this so I'll hopefully notice something. All right up and today I will try to continue a little bit with my cuisine works and specifically this time I will go into some bread and sandwiches because is it something we like in Sweden it's bread and sandwiches uh, so yeah let's go start somewhere this is the item for bread and I'm just gonna see if I want to change anything to that also known as uh, that's good that's probably good and oh lots of pronunciation oh even sign language that's cool. Um, <laughs> oh, Unicode has part. All right, there we have this has part again instead of main material. But we had something up here that was material used. Yes, material used. All right. This is probably good for most of them. I'm not sure if. We always have table salt in it, but let's go with it. So I'm gonna start with this just because I found it. It's covering and I'm not really sure what that's in English. And I read the article about it and it said it's probably Danish. But the thing is it doesn't have a Danish article yet, so I'm not gonna be bold enough to put that in. Sure have it in Sweden here, but I'm gonna add some uh, materials used here. Uh, so we want, ooh, will we find this? Yes. So this is a flour of rye. And we'll add that. Ooh, ooh, doesn't have a, an English one. And wheat flour as well and then we'll have what's very special with this is we usually have oh uh -huh. here we have two uh, 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 uh. so we have soured milk and field milk but which is which is should these two be merged do we start off with a merge immediately that would be pretty interesting. So this is, yes, this is, looks like I want what I want. And this, oh no, 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 this is, okay, this might be, these are probably quite similar, but I, this all, also known as the alias is the same as here, but I'm thinking since this is the main, I'm I'm gonna keep them and then I'll just add this one over here. Oh, oh yes, but I, I will though. Let's bring this up again. And even though I I'm not sure if this is uh, correct, I know that for sure. The big F is not correct. So we'll fix that and we're off to the editing. And we'll add 
which was which and I think yeah that's that one we'll add that one and I, we want some um, syrup syrup I uh -huh. Corn syrup? No. Golden syrup, that's what we want. It's probably even dark golden syrup, but I think that's what's we're gonna check in on. Let's just double check here the, the this field milk, the sour milk. As part milk. I'm not sure. That'll be good enough. Up oh, and back to the did we check the golden syrup last time? Yes, this is what we had in this bread. Chow brown sugar, yeah, that's probably right. So we'll just keep it for now. Oh, and here's something. Oh, yes, so this is uh, I'm not sure what rye flour is, it, is there a rye flour there is uh-huh let's see why they're not connected this is a food ingredient it doesn't have a Swedish Ah, all right, all right, right, right. So these two are, uh, I'm going to cancel this edit. These two should be merged because this, this is what we want. Rye flour, this is rye flour, all right. So we'll grab this, go here, merge with, add, merge into the older and merge. Let's see, what do we end up with? We'll end up with the first one, so um, gonna let's see. I'm reloading this. Yep. Let's fix a little thing here then. So there's a little small R's. Um, this is what we want to add. Oh, it's subclass of something here as well. Open that up. And yes, that will be an improvement at least. And what's this? Oh, so this it's it's a subclass of something that we uh, maybe if we look at all the languages. Oh, Russian. Um, I don't know that. And what do we have here? All right, so 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 they're in a tree at least. I'm not sure what it is, but it's probably useful for some. Uh, and we have it in our yes. So if I reload this here, I will check it again. No. Well. Uh, it's probably just some caching thing. All right, so let's see. That's my first bread. And let's go to another one that I'm for sure know is Swedish descent. If we can find it, yeah, there we have it. Oh, oh, that was an empty, empty one. Uh, right, so this is a subclass of red. Yes. And here is the thing. Should it have a large age or not? Not, because this is this is a name. It origins. This is uh, an island. Uh, uh, uh. Ooh, maybe, maybe it even have. Let's check it out. Open a new tab and 
check if the if if the island had islands oh no i'm not sure is it from the island or is it from this urban area i always thought it was from this island ah but it's in this area all right so it's probably yes so we'll We're going to add a couple of things here. We'll, country of origin will be Sweden. Yes, that's it. Named after Anna. Yes. And what do we have in this? We'll have materials used material used we'll have some wheat flour for sure and we're gonna have some sort of yeast I think the bit. Hmm, I'm getting Unsure here. Which one do we want? Baker's yeast? String of strings so you can use as we need. This in Swedish though says it's a, a bear. A bear, which is obviously not right. This looks like it. Why? Why is it wrong in Swedish? It's not even. Huh. Huh. When was it? Oh, so it has been connected to something. Another article in Swedish Wikipedia, which the link was removed because it wasn't the same, probably. And then the Yeah, someone clean, cleaned up here. But then the Swedish was left there. Oh no. So this, we, we want the baker seized, yes. Do we need to fix it also? So we'll go back here. We'll edit the Swedish because this is not. Oh, oh, oh. I wanted the Swedish one. Can you write more perhaps? Yes. So instead of over raised beer, we'll add block yeast, which is probably. We could also just call it yes. We'll remove that. And this is. Hmm. Right, it's more or less a translation there, but that makes me believe that I is this the same? What's different with this? And why are they not connected? Uh -huh -huh. Is there some discussion? No. Because I'm suspecting that we need to clean up here between these two yeasts, or either maybe even a merge. I'm not sure, because this is a racing agent and this is also a racing agent. So this has a fungus here. So maybe nutritional yeast. 
this image is what I'm looking for here so I'm gonna do it like I did with the rice porridge I'm gonna leave this for now and hope someone else will pick up the thing maybe I should make a make a note of it here uh, no not, not for now no. the note is in the video more or less you never know someone might come after me and clean up what I'm mentioning then we need some sort of uh, rye flour but we not, don't want the regular rye flour we want the I'm not even called no don't even know what it's called in English in Swedish it's Krogsikt no match was found yeah I think I actually made a note of it it was missing so here we have a new mm, oh, I'm gonna, just gonna add here so this is uh, Is it really? I'm um, thinking here. I'm just gonna do a simple one there. And we're gonna create a new item. A new item for this flower. This. And I'm not gonna do it in English, even though I'm editing in English for now, because I don't know that. So the label would be no exit, and it would be yes. So this is a special kind of rye flour. So I'm gonna do. It. It does a subclass of rye flour. Yes. Yes. That's probably good enough for now. I should really. If I knew this verb. So it's like a uh, rye flour where you actually separate. Oh wait, and also it's mixed in Sweden but not Finland, so we're not adding that. All right, I'm just gonna grab that, go back here and add it. Yes, we're up to 60 million already. Oh wow, that's pretty long, pretty much. A lot of items and then it became a little bit more difficult because there's other things in it but depending on who makes it uh, like if you're doing it at home you usually have or you might have butter in it but you know, the, if you make it in a um, industrial scale you usually have some vegetable oil and sometimes you have salt and stuff like that so I'm, I'm gonna leave that for now because I'm sure of these. I, I've never seen any recipe without these. So I think that's a good start. And we'll leave this anacaca for now. I, that's a quite common thing. You'll find it in all stores in Sweden. And I'm just gonna check in on and what I thought is, is this a, a sort of tundred? I was not sure. So it's not really this kind of bread. It's a little bit thicker, even though it's large and flat. So I'm not sure it's called flat bread. This for sure is flat bread. Has part wheat? Mm, I'm just gonna, while I'm here, I'm gonna remove this and I'm gonna use main no materials used and add wheat flour 
that's for sure. And this you usually have baking soda, I guess. But here I'm a little bit. So this image I think shows two types. So one is the crisp one and one is the soft one. And I for sure understand if they are described in the same Wikipedia article. But as a Wikidata item, I would have them as separate items. But I'm not sure if this is... So if there would be two sub items types, so we would have soft tunbread and crisp tunbread, uh, which would be subclasses of this one. Hmm. Yes, most probably. We had a couple of other thing here. Other things here. What was that? Oh yes, and here we have like sort of a yeah fast food dish where you, we where you use this bread to roll up uh, most often a, a hot dog and some mashed potatoes, but you could put other things in there. But that is that's a real classic. Uh, oh, and here we have. Uh -huh. Are these? Paintings? Occupation. This is strange. This is strange. An occupation, but an occupation wouldn't be at a place. Wisconsin, that's a place. This is strange. This is important. No, we're not going to go there now. Don't know the license for that. And here we have, oh, all right. And here we have something that is probably the same. This is probably also imported from somewhere. Yes, so someone, someone, let's check. Uh, Was it the same for the other one? Yes, this feels like... This is just recently. I'm not sure why these are not the same. I'm very tempted to just merge them. Both refer to an occupation at the same place. Maybe the user forgot they first created it and then did it again. They refer to YouTube video ID. Which is strange unless they're actually talking about not the profession itself, the occupation itself, but one specific. Right. I'm gonna ping this user and ask. Uh, yes, let's let's do that first. So and we'll leave it at there. So we're just going to go to talk page. Start a new topic. All right. Can I switch the editor? Yes. So we have this one. This one.
I'm actually writing this in English, although I know this user knows Swedish, and that's mostly mostly because of other people might be joining in. So I'm just adding that. All right, and then I'll leave. I'm leaving these bakers alone. But I'm still left wondering here. Oh, right, all right, wait. wait. We had uh, this one as well. Does this point anywhere? Oh, 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 very young. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So we'll have to fill this up a little bit. But now the question is, is should I? Yes, yes, it's the right thing to do. And um, I said I would edit about bread, so I'll edit about bread. Great two new items here. And we'll do it in... Did it have an... Yes, two bread, all right. So we'll add here... Oh, also, we'll start fixing this. And this is not just food, this is a uh, bread. And then we'll add a soft. Oh, is it in like that? And I'll make this one a subclass of this one, which is the more general one. And this might come in really handy because I know several different dishes here. So yes, this is the soft one. And do it in Swedish as well. Thing here with the description is I'll just borrow this and add yes there we have it and then we know I know that this Uh, this is sort of a wrap. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. A little bit further, and this is a subclass of that dish. You can probably do this and maybe it's even a fast food. I'm not sure. I typically typically buy this like you could do it. Yeah, I see this is sort of a fast food. And we'll add and materials used and you always have this soft to add to make it so that's pretty safe and then I you could probably do this in a couple of different ways but I'm actually gonna add mashed potatoes because I I don't think. Have I seen? No, that's. And then you, it's. You can have different kind of sausages. But you usually have a sausage. Could have other th things as well, but this is the mm -hmm. 
almost always used. All right. I'll just check in on the mashed potato. Was it really the? Yes. Oh, nice. Some really nice. Elias <laughs> is there. Subclass of porridge. That's. <laughs> this looks all right. Uh, uh, oh, this looks pretty good. Yeah. Oh, let's keep that. And that's the soft one. And we're gonna make what's this? Yes, remove that and create a new. And we make a crisp. And I'm not sure if these are Swedish as well. They're very common here in Sweden though. And we'll add a Swedish label. What did we have here? Or this. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. Not the spelling error here. We'll publish this, and this will be a subclass of this one. Right, pretty good. And this is uh, what you usually have when you make. Uh... Well, you could do it on other things as well, but it's very common to surströmming the the fermented herring that smells awful that I really hope we won't have on Wikimania because that will ruin the conference you usually eat it on this so if anyone wants to make that dish in here we will have that item now all right that's some crisp bread soft bread and this dish that's literally, literally roll of tun bread but it's yes some sort of wrap and there we have that one hmm. <laughs> and then we'll see did we have the I think it's this one yes so this is actually a dish made with a soft tunbrad. So I'm we'll add it here. This is uh, it's quite regional. I have never had it. Um, so this is a dish. I'm not sure if it's actually a fast food as well. Oh, we'll use it like that. And we'll add it here. I'm pretty sure this is a name. So this is correct with large T. And this is uh, like that. And we'll add material used. And soft. Did we find it? Yes. And then I think it can vary quite a lot depending on where where it's from and who's making it. But you always have this tunbread. Maybe it's an e even uh, different kinds of tunbread. But I. Uh -huh. oh, all right. Well, I'm actually. Seeing here that he... yeah, this is it. All right, you you <laughs> so now this is probably both a special kind of tun bread and a dish, which is described in the same Wikipedia article, but you probably have two different. 
Uh huh. So, yeah, I should. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna do my, undo my last edit. Do do do. Undo. Yes, and just have this left for now. And I should probably talk with someone who knows this. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Is it Tutul? Tutul? It's a funny name. It's a funny name. Let's go to something I know more about. Which I actually hope they will serve. Toast Skagen. Toast Skagen, Toast Skagen. A small S there. This is an area. Ah, lovely image. So this is definitely Swedish. And I even know who. All right, let's see. Where do I go first? Oh, mm, mm, mm. And is it creator? Maker of this creative work or other object or inventor, discoverer, and no, not really discoverer, developed. Yeah, okay, perhaps. So this would be to the fifth one, yes. Made this dish and Oh yes, and we'll actually we'll specify it, not just a dish, because this is an open sandwich. Yes. And you'll have materials used. And we will have, do we have it? Oh, right, Swedish prawn cocktail. Skagenöra. Pretty good. That's one on a toast. Now, here's the thing. Is it toast? Bread that has been, yes, but I'm thinking Hmm. Let's check this up. Yes, that looks all right. But I'm thinking has part pan loaf, different from pan loaf. White bread. Yes. Which why is it not this? Did I click the same link? This is the same. Why? What? I'm not following. Mm -hmm. So we have the toast pan loaf, but I'm also pretty sure. Let's see, do we have the sandwich bread? Which I thought would be the said to be the same as toast. Very, this is tricky. Because I also knew that not the sandwich, but we had the Swedish one, which is oh, and that's also two. Why? This is one of them. What's this? What? Why? 
Okay, I'm not gonna touch this one, but I'm pretty sure that the, this one is the same as this one. Look exactly what I'm thinking about when I see this. Yes, now let's check the history. Has it been? No, it's just Swedes with Brug. Is this Swedish white bread? In Dutch? Maybe. Uh, let's go back and let's check here. That's all. Instant of sandwich that was removed. All right. Uh, I, I think I dare to be bold here. Bold, not bold. So this one is the same as this one. They have not just been connected properly yet, but I'll do that. So we'll merge these two. Yes, go for it. And now still the question. I, I think like I, I want to, to put the toast in the toast skagen, obviously. But I also feel like you can toast different kinds of breads. Is this always this one? But if it's pan loaf, which is different from sandwich bread, uh, I'll, let's go with a toast. But really, this should be straightened out, or maybe not even straightened out. But it, we, should, we should be fixing this more like in a group. And uh, I think you need a multicultural group, like to say, like, oh, this, what you're saying, the Swedish Foreign Franska is really not the same as the British uh, or American sandwich bread. Although it superficially might seem like that. And why this toast, obviously for someone, always is this bread. But someone thinks that a toasted bagel could be a toast as well. All right, I don't know. This is at least what I think we're gonna add here. Yes, was it? Was it that one? Yes. And publish. Pretty simple dish. You have toast. You add skog and rara. Toast skagen. Let's check in the skog and rara. That's a dish. I would say. Ah. It's not a dish in itself, you never. It's more like a condiment or something you you add it to. Like in, it, in this image, you add it to a baked potato and it becomes a dish. Uh, is that. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I'll go with condiment. It feels more proper. You could have this in a in a tumbrerulle as well. Named after Skagen, yes. Oh, did I add it for the other one? The toast Skagen. No, I forgot. Wait, wait. What happened? We just made a lot of edits. Oh, they're here. No named after. Well, let's go back. Oh, something. Ah, here it is. Yes, so we'll, we'll add named after and this is fun because apparently uh, this is not a common uh, dish 
in Denmark, but it's named after a place in Denmark. And why Thure Wertmann did that, we don't know. It's quite fun. Maybe he was inspired by something from there, but the Danish, yep. They didn't pick it up. So, yeah, I guess this also did it named after. And this is also the country of origin, Sweden. All right. And we'll add some materials to this. Material used. We'll add some shrimps. Oh, this might be fun. Now, we're not going to add a painting. Is it these shrimps? No, this is a brand. Ah, we'll have to search for it. Or is it just shrimp? Yeah, types. Wait, what? No, it's not types of seafood. It's a type of seafood. Natural. Yes, perfect. So we're gonna. Well. Technically, you probably have different kind of shrimps as well, different species. Now, is it shrimp or shrimps? You never have just one shrimp, or you might if it's a giant shrimp, but that's something different, is it? Shrimps or prawns as food, yes. Oh, it's a very interesting thing. In Swedish, I don't think we have a difference between shrimps and prawns. Ah, oh. they're all the same to us. Haha. <laughs> yes, so this is the one we want to add. Seven and a half million something. Not shrimps, but shrimp. And we'll have some mayonnaise, yes, and dip. I think we all fixed this one the other day. Yes, here it is. Yes. So this was in a previous video, and I actually just saw when I logged in on Twitch here that. The old videos will disappear after a couple a couple of weeks. So, yeah, I'm not sure I'm gonna continue on this platform because, well, I'm not sure if anyone wants to go back and see what I what I did. But it still feels like a bit of a waste of time uh, if it just expire. All right, remove the shrimps. Bread. Oh, yes, and also, of course, we have to check in the shrimp sandwich. Ah, there you have it. So this supposedly is the short, shortest word in Swedish, which has this letter O A uh, uh. So it's used for by programmers as well. Uh, that's not gonna be. And now here's the thing: is this uh, is this a name that should be transferred like smorgasbord, or should it be shrimp sandwich? I'm, I'm just. that this is some sort of slang almost so let's see here Whoa. 
publish this. This is the beautiful image, which, uh, oh, and that's the only thing we had. So this is a subclass of uh, open sandwiches. Yes, single piece. And here, I know that you can have like different kinds of sandwiches. You could have the, the one we just had, the sandwich bread. It's very common. But you can also have a little bit thicker one. And I think we call it tea cake and a Swedish tea cake, perhaps. Or maybe that's a little bit different. Um, yeah, so it's a subclass of open sandwich. What you do use. Well, I'm gonna go with sandwich bread for now. Sandwich bread. Yes, and it's not toasted, so it's just a sandwich bread. Uh, this one, you could have other things, but you always have mayonnaise that's for sure and we'll add some shrimp types of seafood and we also have usually egg and we established in the previous episode here that it's a chicken egg i guess you could have something else but i don't know most Probably we just use the chicken egg anyway. So we'll write it down. And hmm, a slice of lemon. I, I haven't been in for the lemon. Yes, for citrus lemon juice. Color. Hmm, that's not. Let's check out. Q500, what is the Q500 and is that the species? species? Citrus, yes, so this is not what we're for lemon use, yes. All right, I like that. Mm -hmm. Subclass for fruit, color lemon, <laughs> yes, self-referring. Um, natural product, yes, beautiful. So this is what we want. Yes, all right. Nice. So that's the, the one. What else? Is this Swedish? I'm not sure. I'm not going to enter that. It probably is. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> There's an article in Korean as well. I wonder if they, they describe the same thing, or they also have a shrimp sandwich. They might have. I'm not sure. All right, we've been going on for 50 minutes here. I think I'm... Well, there are definitely more types of bread in Sweden. But these were some that I, my short research beforehand t told me that it might be interesting to add something to. Because these are now connected in some ways. We merged a couple of objects. Yeah, let's go check our uh, contributions here for today. So we edited a shrimp sandwich. And we fixed a little bit with the shrimps as well. And the toast. Skagen. Oh, and we actually merged here the, the two different kinds of breads. And then we have this soft flatbread thing that I'm not really sure if it should be two objects. And then we created this crisp and a soft flatbread and added to the dish the wrap. Oh, oh we have so more than 50. Let's go to 100. And And yes, and we're into the to the yeast thing. And there it might actually be worth going back and fix the old thing as I edited with yeast. I'll have to check that. And then we created a new rye flour. 
and we merge the ones that were there. And we also merged, no, we didn't merge, but we saw the, the, the difference between sour milk and feed milk. And so that's 78 edits for today. And that's a little bit more than one per minute. I'm not sure if that's good or bad, but hey, I'm working along here. So yeah, I'm gonna call it a day with the bread for now. I'll probably come back with more bread later on. But we're also gonna go into some more traditional dishes. Uh, uh, I had some in the backup here, if it was all too quick, but I'll save them for later. And also, as <laughs> As previously established, we're gonna go back to the rice porridge someday. Uh, maybe I should submit a rice porridge talk for Wikimania. That might be helpful. Or a workshop, because I could probably have some use with help there. Yes. So, that'll be all for now. And, well, see you next time.